Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. In this video, we want to discuss about the cash flow terms and cash flow diagram together with the economics equivalence. One way we model financial processes is with cash flow diagrams. And engineering economy base its computations on the timing, size and direction of cash flow. These are horizontal lines that represent time. At various points, we place arrows pointing up or down to represent cash going up, example payments, or cash going in, example revenues. Usually, payments are represented as negative, down pointing, and revenues as positive, up pointing. However, you will see other representation. Within a single financial process, you must be consistent. Cash inflows are the receipts, revenues, incomes, and savings generated by project and business activity. A plus sign indicates a cash inflow. While cash outflow Example, cost, disbursement, expenses and taxes caused by projects and business activity. A negative or minus sign indicates the cash outflow. When project involves only cost, the minus sign may be omitted for some techniques such as benefit and cost ratio analysis. Next, how to estimate Project cash flow. The task of engineers to do cost estimation from financial department, purchasing personnel, and market pricing, and the list goes on. There are two type of estimates. One is point estimate, and another one is range estimate. Point estimate is a single value estimate of a cash flow element of an alternative example cash inflow income is equivalent with 5000 per month while range estimates is a minimum and maximum values that estimate for the cash flow example for the cash flow income it might from 4,200 to 5,600 per month. Endpoint estimates are commonly used in discussions. However, range estimate with probabilities attached provide a better understanding of variability of economic parameters used to make decisions. The cash flow diagram is a very important tool in an economic analysis, especially when the cash flow series is complex. The cash flow diagram is a graphical representation of cash flows draw on the y axis with a time scale on the x axis. The diagram includes what is known what is estimated and what is needed. So this is an example of time scale from year 1 to year 5. The time scale of figure is set up for 5 years since the end of year convention places cash flow at the end of years the one marks the end of year 1. And the arrow might pointing up or pointing down. So a vertical arrow is pointing up indicates a positive cash flow, and a down pointing arrow indicates a negative cash flow. So what we have inside the cash flow diagram again, first the time scale. And number two, 
is the arrow to indicate either the cash inflow or cash outflow either the arrow pointing up or the arrow pointing down with the value so how to develop the cash flow diagram before the diagramming of cash flow a perspective must be determined so that the plus or minus signs can be assigned and the economic analysis performed correctly Assume you borrow 20,000 from a bank today to purchase an 18,000 used car for cash next week and you plan to spend the remaining 2,000 on a new paying job for the car two weeks from now. So now the time scale is weekly. These are several perspectives possible when developing the cash flow diagram from this scenario those of the borrowers that's you the banker the car dealer or the paint shop owner this figure show the cash flow signs and amount for this perspective from the borrower from the banker car dealer and painter so from the borrower perspective the 20000 is a cash inflow for the buy car activity the cash is outflow so you can see the negative sign for the 18000 when you buy the car and also cash outflow when you pay for the paying job and negative sign used for the negative 2000 but from the perspective lend banker yeah, Uh, the the money is come out from the bank so the cash is outflow so the value is negative 20000 from the third perspective the car dealer that sell the car so it is cash inflow the positive sign used for the 18000 at week 1 and the last perspective is the painter you pay the painter 2000 So from the painter perspective, the painter receive two thousand for the paint job. And how this information reflect to the cash flow diagram? One and only one of the perspective is selected to develop the program. For your perspective. All three cash flow are involved and the diagram appears as shown in figure below with a time scale of weeks. So there are two weeks, week 0, 1 and 2. So from your perspective, you have receipt of 20,000 now which is time 0. So the arrow is pointing up 20,000 and at the first week you buy the car cost you 18000 the arrow pointing down means negative cash flow or the cash is out flow at the end of week 1 and at week 2 you send the car for paying jobs which is we spend 2000 at the end of week 2 the arrow pointing down shows the cash outflow and negative 2000 so this is this diagram shows how we develop a cash flow diagram based on the information given again in the cash flow diagram we have the time scale in this case 2 weeks and we have cash outflow and cash inflow cash inflow the arrow pointing up example the 20000 cash outflow negative sign which is in the diagram is the arrow pointing down 18000 and 2000 we try to look another example consider a machine that is going to be purchased for 
It will cost 3,500 each year to operate, including maintenance. It will need to have its main component recalibrated in year 3 for a cost of 4,000 and it will be sold at year 7 for 10,000. So here is the cash flow diagram. First, the purchase of the machine of 15,000 at year 0. Next, the 3,500 for the operating cost and maintenance every year. So we can see 3,500 appear at year 1 until year 7 every year. So there's 7 cash flow of 3,500 every year pointing down because we have to pay the operating cost and the maintenance cost. Another cash flow is the component recalibrate in year 3. So we can see 4000 appear at year 3 which is cost you 4000. And at the last cash flow is the sold at year 7 for 10000. So at year 7 we can see 10000 the arrow is pointing up because we received the cash when we sold the machine. And this is another example of cash flow diagram. Yeah. Akrami deposits 10,000 into an account which pays interest at the rate of 10% per year. The amount in the account after 4 years is so first Akrami deposit 10,000. The cash from Akrami perspective, the cash is outflow and because Akrami deposit 10,000 into an account. So we see this is 10,000 deposit at year 0. So in 4 years, yeah, what is the amount in the account after 4 years? And so we have this arrow. F stands for future value. The arrow up for inflow shows the amount that depositor will get at the end of year 4, which is the interest rate is 10%. So this is another example of cash flow diagram developed from scenario here. Next discussion is on economics equivalence. So what is economic equivalence? Economic equivalence defined as combination of interest rates or rate of return and time value of money to determine different amounts of money at different points in time that are economically equivalent. So how it works? Use rate I and time T in upcoming relation to move money value of P, F and A between time points T equals 0 or 1 until N to make them equivalent at the rate of interest. So this figure shows the example of equivalence. And different sums of money at different times may be equal in economic value at a given rate. So if you have 1000 now and you deposit which give you return of 10% per year at the end of year 1 the 1000 now is equivalent with 1100 so that's all for this sessions thank you